Well, welcome, welcome. Shalom, peace. Everybody, let's come together. We are prayer warriors for Christ tonight. And praying the scripture, the word of God is the most powerful thing we can do as we come together as Christians. We can defeat the enemy no matter what's going on. Amen. So um, right now <laughs> we have um, a, de a deliverance prayer that we've been praying Um Paula will come on and she'll put that up for you guys and you can write it down. Um, I want to say you should at least uh, pray this prayer once a day. Um, we never know what the enemy's doing behind the scenes when we're caught up in this world doing our own things that he's done something and planted bad seeds in us. So it's important for us to, to pray to the Lord and be delivered from anything the enemy may try to put on us. So there's Paula, yes. So she's going to share the deliverance prayer. Thank you, Paula, for putting that up. Um, I want to say if you have any prayer requests, don't hesitate. Don't wait till it's too late. Start asking. Message me. We'll put you on the list. Let's start praying and decreeing and declaring God's word over your life. And whatever situation it is, God is a good God. He wants us well, wants us healthy. He wants all good things for us. Nothing but good is comes from the Lord. Amen. So there is a, there are some scriptures for the nation and for uh, Israel that Barbara will be putting up. If not, that's okay. I'll, I'll say them out loud as we go. Uh, I'm asking everybody to pray um, for our nation and, and for Israel continuously. Did you know that by, by blessing the Israel people, the Jewish people, we are blessed? That's right. You want some blessings? Start blessing God's people. Um, so, um, I also, let's see here. Let's see. We, we're going to do putting on the, ar the full armor of God. We need to put the full armor of God on. Um, decreeing and declaring this over your life would be an awesome thing to do. A very good thing to do. Remind you who you are. Amen. Oh. I love the Lord. He's so good. I'm so thankful. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna do our putting on the full armor, which is Ephesians six ten through nineteen. Hi Barbara, thank you for putting up the the scriptures, Barbara. I know you're working on that. <laughs> um, we have an intercessor's creed that I've been um, praying here, and we're gonna start out with that, and then we're gonna put on our armor. And then we're going to do our deliverance prayer. And then we're going to go into decreeing and declaring scriptures over your life and over our prayer request list. So, you guys, yes, ma'am, the same scriptures. I'm going to use the same scriptures for next week, probably. Next four, three or four days, probably. And then we'll switch it up. <laughs> God's word is powerful. And these are the scriptures we've been using. They are meant specifically for... Um, Israel and, and the nation. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, let me get my glasses on. <laughs> my light's on and it's bright. So, I'm not used to the bright light. I finally got it to work. It was the plug. Go figure that one out. All right. So, let's pray together here of the Intercessor's Creed. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for as in John 15, 16, we thank you, Lord, that we did not choose you but you chose us and appointed us that we should go and bear fruit and that our fruit should remain that whatever we ask of the father in your name that you would give it to us in jesus name amen as in matthew 21 22 lord we believe that all things we ask in prayer believing we shall receive in jesus name as in John 14, 12 through 14, we thank you, Lord, that we believe in you and the works that you did, we will do. And even greater works than what you, Jesus, did, we will do because you are with the Father and whatever we ask in Jesus' name, that will he do, that the Father might be glorified in the Son. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. As in Romans 4, 17, we thank you, Lord, that we believe that you are the God that gives life to the dead and calls into being that which does not exist. And yes, we will do this also. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I love that. 
that's that's good intercessor prayer amen so let's go ahead and put on the full armor of god all right that is ephesians 6 10 through 19. so finally we will be strong in the lord and in the strength of his might we will put on the full armor of god that we may be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil for the struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in heavenly places. Therefore, we will take up the full armor of God that we may be able to resist in the evil day and having done everything to stand firm. We will stand firm, therefore, having girded our loins with truth and having put on the breastplate of righteousness and having shod our feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. In addition to all, we will take the shield of faith with which we will be able to extinguish all the flaming missiles of the evil one. Amen. And we will take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God with all prayer and petition. We will pray at all times in the spirit. And with this in view, we will be on the alert with all perseverance and petition for all the saints. And we will pray that utterance may be given to us in the opening of our mouth to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Lord. We are fully armored. Amen. <laughs> I love it. All right. So we're going to, what we're going to do right now is our deliverance prayer, which is up. So you can uh, pray that prayer right along with us. Yes. Get delivered. I'm telling you, it's mighty powerful cleansing. Let's get cleansed. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we present to you, Father, ourselves, our families, our churches, our neighborhoods, our schools and universities, our towns, our nation, and all nations of the world, and each person and area for which we are praying. By the power of the name of Jesus Christ, through his shed blood and the holy word of God, we bind the power of Satan in all dominions of darkness, seeking entrance into our lives and, to, and into the lives of the ones for whom we are praying. We bind any demonic assignments spoken or sent against us and pronounce them to be of no effect. For this reason was the Son of God made manifest to destroy the works of the devil. Oh, praise God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We proclaim the ways and works of darkness over all of us to be broken. We bind the satanic forces of nature from harming any property that we possess or area for which we are praying. Father, we ask you to dispatch the presence and power of your Holy Spirit and your holy angels to drive the devil from us and to cleanse those places where the enemy has gained a foothold. Holy Spirit, come and manifest as a cleansing fire in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we resist and break all curses, hexes, spells, voodoo, fasting prayers of the occult, satanic and messianic rituals, the power of all blood sacrifices and covenants, and any and all witchcraft and sorcery sent against any of us or any area or transferred through the generational bloodline. Oh, we apply the blood of Jesus Christ to break all strongholds of iniquity and rebellion in all of us. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, we ask you to expose and bring into the light negative inner vows and strongholds that contradict your word and will. By the breath of your spirit, release your truth as a sword to expose falsehood, curses of self-rejection, self-hatred, and reactive hatred and bitterness toward others. We take up the sword of your word and cut ourselves free from the bondage of generational strongholds of control, rebellion, rejection, fear, anxiety, guilt, unforgiveness and defiance, and ungodly character defects. In the name of Jesus Christ, we renounce all relationships dishonoring to the Lord. Father, break the power of soul ties over our minds and emotions for ourselves and for these people. We proclaim our and their freedom to be the children of Yahweh God, to live as he intended us to live, filled and overflowing with the light and power of his Holy Spirit, filled with the life and love of Jesus Christ. 
We claim the full protection of the shed blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, over our individual lives, our marriages, families, our possessions, our churches, our neighborhoods, our towns, our nation, and for all the people and areas and situations we have lifted to you this day. You, O oh Lord, are a shield about us, our glory and the lifter of our heads. O oh, blessed be the name of the Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, that you will say to Satan, the Lord rebuke you, Satan. The Lord who has chosen Jerusalem rebuke you in all the lives, situations, and areas we just lifted to the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, that you will awaken our sleeping spirits and bring us into the light. Thank you, Lord, that you will transform us by the renewing of our minds daily in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that you will pour out your spirit on us and reveal your word to us. Thank you, Lord, that you will give your angels charge over us in all of our ways. And thank you, Lord, that we believe in you and from our innermost being shall flow rivers of living waters. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, that you will direct our hearts into the love of God and the steadfastness of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. But thank you, Lord, that you will heal us and we will be healed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that no weapon formed against our spiritual, physical, or mental beings shall ever prosper. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, we decree and declare it today. Amen. Praise God. I don't know about you, but that sure really cleansed me. I love that. <laughs> I love it. Thank you, Lord. Okay, so right now, we're going to pray um, for the all the Christians who are being persecuted attacked around the world in Afghanistan um, all the ministers preachers teachers leaders who are spreading the gospel uh, we are going to be praying for them and also uh, the request of Sylvia for the school district there um, for delivery of oppression depression and for change all of that is in this prayer so we're going to pray this prayer next okay Father, we praise you, Father God, Lord of heaven and earth, and we thank you that you raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in heavenly realms in Christ Jesus. In the name of Jesus and in the authority of God the Father and in the power of the Holy Spirit, we tie up the strong man and all the spirits of the elements, the rulers, the authorities, the powers of this dark world and the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms and on earth and under the earth. And we bless those who curse us and those who oppose us and ask that you will grant them repentance, leading them to a knowledge of the truth. Thank you that the Holy Spirit will guide us into all truth. Holy Father, protect us and those we love by the power of your name in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, that you will let your ear be attentive to the prayers of your servants and to the prayers of your servants who delight in revering your name. Thank you, Lord, that you will give us success today by granting us favor in the presence of men. It's in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. We decree and declare it today. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. So now we have our prayer request list. And we are going to decree and declare scripture over your life and theirs. So if you hear a scripture tonight that involves you or for somebody else, write it down, make a petition, and bring your request to the Lord. Use the word of God. It is powerful, more powerful than anything you can come up, to, come up with with prayer. And, and he's watching and waiting to perform his word. Lord, we are watching and waiting for you to do it. Amen. He's faithful, he's a good God, and we're trusting in him that he is going to make the difference. He hears our prayers, and he's going to answer them. Amen. Amen. So first off, we, I start off every night here, <laughs> reminding everyone of Proverbs 18.21. Death and life are in the power of our mouths. What are you speaking? Are you speaking life or death? Are you speaking blessing or cursing? Whatever you spoke yesterday, that's who you are today. Everything that you speak, you become. So, <laughs> or it becomes around you. So be careful what you speak. Be a blessing. Speak the word of God. You know, encourage one another. People need hope. Let's, let's, let's give them the word of God. Let's do this. Speak to your mountains, baby. That's right. God is good. Amen. 
So if you need help, of course, you need to ask the Lord because you cannot do it alone. And he will help you. He will. <laughs> he promises he's our help, right? In Isaiah 41, 13, he says, For I, the Lord your God, hold your right hand. I am the Lord who says to you, Fear not. Fear not. I will help you. Thank you, Lord, that you are helping us. And we don't have to fear. He's here with us. Amen. For all those who are evil in this world, evildoers in the nation, the, the government, all around us, we see it all over the place, riots and mobs, the, the Antifa, you see uh, the Taliban, all these evil people running around. We have a scripture for every one of them. Psalm 64, 7, 8, 9. But God will shoot an unexpected arrow at them, and suddenly shall they be wounded Praise the Lord. I cannot wait. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And they will be made to stumble their own tongues turning against them. All who gaze upon them will shake their heads and flee away. And all men shall fear and be in awe. And they will declare the work of God. For they'll wisely consider and acknowledge that it's his doing. God always gets the glory when he does something that he wants known that he did. Nobody gets to take it from him. And he deserves all of it. Amen. And I'm watching this scripture here. Oh, yes. I'm going to continue praying, <laughs> praying over this scripture. Amen. All right. So we have Matthew 18, 19. Again, I tell you, if two of you on earth agree, harmonize, or come together about whatever, anything and everything they may ask, it will come to pass and be done for them by my Father in heaven. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We claim this scripture tonight. Amen. Then we also have Matthew 9, 38 for salvation. So pray to the Lord of the harvest to force out and thrust labors into his harvest. We also have Acts 16, 31. They will believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and they will be saved. Them and their household. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> faith and strength. 1 Corinthians 2, 5. Our faith should not stand on the wisdom of this world. The wisdom of men, <laughs> no. But on the power of God, that's where it should stand. God's word is the power. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for your word. And he loves us. And we can utilize his word. We have to speak it out. All right. So for comfort, Isaiah 61, 2. Thank you, Lord, for comforting all who mourn. He loves you and he wants you to comfort you and heal you. For protection, Numbers 10, 35. Thank you, Lord. You will rise up, O Lord, and our enemies will be scattered and our foes will flee before us. Amen. That's right. They're going to flee before us. We are specially taken care of. Protected. Psalms 91. Amen. Special needs, we have Isaiah 33, 6. Thank you, Lord, that you will be the stability of their times, a wealth of salvation, wisdom and knowledge, and the fear of the Lord is their treasure. That's right. Amen. Well, here in John 10, 35, Jesus said, it is written, Scripture cannot be broken. Start speaking to your mountains. Use the word of God. <laughs> in his word, Jeremiah 1, 12, Jesus said, You have seen well, for I am watching over my word to perform it. This, I can't get enough of this. This is Jesus himself saying these words to us. <laughs> it doesn't get any better than that. It sure doesn't. Romans 9, 28, For the Lord will execute his word upon the earth thoroughly and quickly. Don't worry, it's going to be on his time on time always perfect timing amen wisdom and guidance john 16 13 the holy spirit will lead us into all truth that's right all truth only the holy spirit that's right <laughs> then we have our physical healing scriptures Luke 7, 21, at this very time, you will cure these people of diseases and afflictions and evil spirits, and you will grant sight to these who are blind. 3 John 1 and 2, it's written, they will prosper and be in health just as their soul prospereth. Amen. 
Matthew 5, 13, every plant which their heavenly father has not planted shall be rooted up in Jesus' name. Amen. Matthew 14, 14, you are compassionate to them and heal those who are sick. Thank you, Lord. Luke 13, 12, they are freed from their sicknesses. Matthew 8, 7, you, Lord, will come and heal them. Isaiah 53, 5, by your holy stripes, they are healed. It's a done deal. Luke 5, 17, the power of the Lord is present for Jesus to perform healing. Psalms 41, 3, you will sustain them in their sickbed. And in their illnesses, you will restore them to health. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, man. Psalm 77, 14, you are the God who performs miracles. Thank you that you display your powers among the peoples. Matthew 21, 22, all things they ask in prayer, believing they shall receive. That's right. We're going to receive everything tonight because we believe and stand on the word of God. And he says his scripture cannot be broken and he's watching and waiting to perform it. That's right. Amen. <laughs> get worked up get get that movement going because i'm telling you our god is mighty and powerful we don't have to worry about all these things okay deliverance hebrews 9 14 thank you lord that the blood of christ will cleanse our conscience from dead works to serve the living god hallelujah i love that scripture Heavenly Father, thank you for your word, Lord, of wisdom, truth, and love. Father, the compassion and healing that you give us, Lord, thank you. Father God, we decree and declare these scriptures over everyone here tonight and there, those here on our request list. Father God, we want to take a moment to just give you thanksgiving and praise for all that you're doing in our lives that you continue to do for everyone here and on our prayer request list. Thank you for the healing and all the wonderful blessings that you're doing in their lives. Father, we come together tonight calling upon those things that be not as though they were. We're speaking to every sickness and disease, every illness all cancers, all viruses, the COVID-19, all strains and the vaccination. And we are binding you right now, plucking you by your roots. And we're saying, be cast into the sea in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Praise you, O Lord. Thank you, Father, for the wonderful authority you've given us in the great name, the name above all names, the I Am. Hallelujah, Yahweh. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, we decree and declare tonight salvation. Matthew 9, 38 and Acts 16, 31 for all the lost souls in this world. For Ian and his family, David Davila, for David Paul, for Dale Horkman, and for Rogelio. Thank you, Father God, that you've put your divine appointments out. Let your will be done, Father God, on earth as it is in heaven. Thank you, Jesus. We decree and declare all cancer patients are healed. Julie Maldonado is healed. Mia Reyes is healed. Isabel Zapata is healed. Camilla Castillo is healed. Cassandra is healed. Dale Horkman is healed. Angela Laredo is healed. Lupi Maldonado is healed. Michael Palacios is healed. Thank you, Father God, that you are moving in their spirit walk. And Father, we just pray you bless them and their families. We decree and declare all covid Patients are healed. Father, that you have extinguished COVID-19 with your mighty hand and you have reversed the COVID-19 vaccination. Father God, we praise you and thank you. Father, a special request here for COVID, um, for Alex. We pray tonight, Father God, for Alex, that you be with him, Father God. And Lord, we know you're a God of miracles, that you have the say-so. And you hear our petitions and prayers right now, Lord. Your word says you're watching and waiting to perform it. Well, Father God, we, we love you. We expect it to be done because you're a God that cannot lie. Your word does not return void. We praise you. We give you thanks and honor that you are healing Alex right now, that he can breathe on his own. You're taking care of all these things because we're casting our cares upon you, Lord. Thank you, Father God, that you are taking care of him and, the, and Christy and her family, Lord. We pray blessings upon them. Strengthen them in their walk, Lord. May they run to you with their whole heart, Father, and never stop. I just praise you and thank you, Father God, that you're moving in their lives. Mend their hearts, Father God. 
And we just praise you right now for your wonderful works. Father God, we just thank you, Lord, that you've, you're helping and healing Angel. Thank you, Lord, that you've kept her safe and healthy. Father God, we decree and declare tonight all the broken hearts are being mended for whatever cause or reason, Lord, that you are strengthening them, giving them guidance and comforting them and blessing them and their families. Thank you, Lord, that you're meeting all needs in every area, Father God. You are the supplier. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We decree and declare health and healing for baby Armani, the mighty man of God, Louis Kadena, for John, for Samantha, for Rogelio and Ray, the double portion and restoration of healing and blessings for them and their families. Thank you, Father. They're decreeing and declaring you are their healer. And we decree and declare for Ray and Anna's marriage to be strengthened, that you just continue to work in Anna's walk, Lord. I just praise you and thank you for it. We decree and declare for Shane's healing from the top of his head to the bottom of his feet, that you are supplying all his needs and giving favor of men so that they would be providing for his surgery, Lord, that you are moving mightily in this area. Bless Shane and his family. We decree and declare a healing for Angela, that you have healed her lungs and she can breathe lord thank you father that you heal her of anything that's attacking her from the top of her head to the bottom of her feet we praise you and give you all honor thank you lord for healing angela we decree and declare kenneth's healing thank you lord that you already are working father god in his body the top of his head to the bottom of his feet any and all sicknesses and diseases that have come against him we are saying be gone in the mighty name of Jesus. And we thank you, Father God, that you are healing him, restoring him to full health. Thank you, Lord. We, we decree and declare tonight health and healing, strength and a hedge of thorn of protection. Uh, Acts 1631 and guidance and discernment, Lord, strengthen our areas in the, in the discernment, Father God, and our walk with you, Lord. We decree and declare this over our brother James and his family, for Paula and her family, for Christy and her family, Mary and her family, um, for Barbara and her family, Michael and his family, for me and my family, and for everyone here tonight, Lord, for them and their families. We thank you, Lord, that you're working on their hearts, melting them like wax, that all of the scales have been removed from their eyes and they see the light. The darkness has been brought to light. And Father, they see the evil running rampant and they're running to you, looking for their Bibles to read the word of God. Sanctify them in your word, for your word is truth, Father God. Thank you, Lord, that you're changing their lives. They're looking and searching for you and that you have put divine appointments everywhere, Lord. Speaking out the name of Jesus and decreeing and declaring your word into their lives and blessing them. Thank you, Father God. We decree and declare tonight we all have your spiritual wisdom, understanding, and knowledge, and that your character is being revealed in us, and we reflect your nature. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> oh, Father God, we are lifting up tonight Israel, and we're decreeing and declaring your word as in Psalms 108.13. Thank you, Lord, that you will give Israel help against the adversary, for deliverance by man is in vain. Through God, Israel shall do valiantly, and it's, it is you, Lord, who will tread down their adversaries in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As in Isaiah 43, 21, we thank you, Lord, that the people who you form for yourself, Israel, will declare your praise in Jesus' name. As in Isaiah 35, 10, we thank you, Lord, that Israel, the ransom of the Lord, will return and come with joyful shouting to Zion with everlasting joy upon their heads. They will find gladness and joy and sorrow and singing will flee away in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As in Ezekiel 39, 29, we thank you, Lord, that you will not hide your face from Israel any longer, for you shall pour out your spirit on the house of Israel in Jesus' name. As in Jeremiah 33, 8, uh, 8 and 9, we thank you, Lord, that you will cleanse them from all their iniquity by which they have sinned against you, and you will pardon all their iniquities by which they have sinned against you, and by which they have transgressed against you. And they shall be to you a name of joy, praise, and glory, 
before all the nations of the earth, which shall hear of all the good that you do for them, and they shall fear and tremble because of all the good and all the peace that you make for, for it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As in Isaiah 60, 18, we thank you, Lord, that violence will not be heard again in this land, nor devastation or destruction within Israel's borders. But Israel will call her walls salvation and her gates praise in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Lord, we lift up the nation tonight. And your word in 1 Kings 129, we thank you, Lord, that you will redeem all nations from their distress in Jesus' name. As in Genesis 12, 2, we thank you, Lord, that you will make a great us a great nation and you will bless this nation and make our name great. And this nation shall be a blessing in Jesus' name. As in Psalms 34, 14, thank you, Lord, that all the world, especially this nation, will depart from evil and do good. We will seek peace and pursue it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As in Psalms 34, 11, we thank you, Lord, that all the people will come and listen to you and you will teach us the fear of the Lord in Jesus' name. As in Mark 1, 15, we thank you, Lord, that the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Thank you that all nations will repent and believe in the gospel in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As in Psalms 98, 2, we thank you, Lord, that you will make known your salvation. You have revealed your righteousness in the sight of the nations in Jesus' name. As in Jeremiah 16, 21, we thank you, Lord, that you will make us know power and might, and we will know that your name is the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. As in 2 Corinthians 7, 1, we thank you, Lord, that our nation and the world, having the promises of God, will cleanse ourselves from all defilement of flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of the Lord, in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. We decree and declare it today, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Well, I just want to tell you, you know, if you don't know Jesus personally as your Savior, now's the time. You're, we're not promised tonight or tomorrow. Jesus can come and take us now and rapture us away. And Trust me, you don't want to be here for the tribulation. But if you'd like to receive Christ as your Savior, I have a prayer you can pray. You can confess with your mouth that you have sinned and believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for you in your, in, in your place and that he rose from the dead on the third day. And you have victory through Jesus. I want to tell you, he died for you so that you can have a relationship with him. He loves you. So if you'd like to receive Jesus as your Savior tonight, this is the prayer to pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for sending Jesus to die on the cross in my place. Thank you that because of Jesus' bloodshed, I have been redeemed from death, hell, and the grave. I am free and have eternal life forever. I believe and receive Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Come into my heart. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. So if you prayed this prayer, you are now born again. You have the Holy Spirit, the Comforter living in you. He will guide you in all truth. Stay in the Word of God. The Word of God is your spiritual uh, food. Okay? So 2 Corinthians 5, 7 says, We walk by faith, not by sight. So we can't go by what we see. Um. So make sure that you stay in the Word of God. If you don't have a Bible, download the Bible app. Okay, there's many good teachings in there. If you have any questions, you need anything, prayer, you know, you're welcome to come back. I'm here between 6 and 9 for communion and for prayer warrior. We'd love to have you join with us. But we're here. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. No worries. We're one body. We're the body of Christ. Let's come together, you know, sharpen one another. Amen. Amen. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to close out with Psalms 91, decreeing and declaring. If you have not written down this scripture, um, sorry, please write down this scripture and uh, decree and declare it once a day. This is very powerful because one day we're not going to have the Bible. Make sure you put the word of God in your heart. They can't take it away from you when you have it in there. So do it daily. Okay. Let's do it together tonight. I declare that I will dwell in the shelter of the Most High God.
that I will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I declare, God is my fortress and refuge, that you are my God in whom I trust and with great confidence in whom I will rely on. I declare that God will rescue me from every trap and protect me from every disease. I declare that I am protected and covered by his outstretched arms. God's faithful promises are my armor and protection. Amen. I declare that I'm covered and protected by God's words, that I will not be afraid of the night nor of the missiles that fly in the day. I declare that I will not dread any disease that lurks in the darkness nor, I nor any disaster that strikes at midday. I declare that God is my refuge and the God Almighty of my home. No evil can befall me, nor plague can come near my dwelling. Everywhere I go, I'm covered. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your word. <laughs> I declare that God has ordered his angels to guard, defend, and protect me and my house. I declare that God's armies of heaven will keep me from falling. I will walk unharmed and kick anything that's evil from my path. I declare that because of God's love for me, I will call upon him. He will set me above all my troubles and deliver me from all my fears and will honor me with his presence and power. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I declare that he will reward me with long life and he will show me his salvation. It's in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach we decree and declare. We're Psalms 91 equipped. Thank you, Lord, for your wonderful words of truth and protection. Amen. Praise God. He is good. You guys, I love you. Thank you for joining tonight and giving God all the honor and praise. Oh, thank you, Lord. It's always a, a joy to come together with people who love the Lord and, and just knowing we're here together, it makes it just so much powerful. It just does. That God's in the midst, His Spirit's with us. Amen. I love you guys. May the Lord bring you His shalom, peace, and joy into your homes tonight. Love on your family members. You know, we're not promised tonight or tomorrow. Amen. Be Have a, for, a, a forgiving heart. Forgive anyone that you may have have something against. Don't hold anything against anyone. Um, may the Lord bring you sweet sleep tonight and dreams and visions of what his plan is for your life, that you would follow that plan. Oh, I love you guys so much. Stay in the word. Spread the gospel. Here's a hug. Bunch of kisses. Stay in the gospels. Spread the gospel. Be a light into the world. Jesus is coming. Hold your head up and look to the sky because you know what? He is coming. He says redemption is near. When we see all these birth pains going on, he's coming. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He's coming. Oh. Well, I love you guys. I'm going to say I love you different languages and say good night. Thank you for joining. Well, I need what gender will I need? If you're Chinese, Jesus really loves you. Saranye, if you're Korean, Jesus loves you. Ti amo. If you're Italian, Jesus loves you. Te quiero mucho, mi amor. If you are Spanish, Jesus loves you. Je t'aime. If you are French, Jesus loves you. Skiveo. If you're Japanese, Jesus loves you. If you are English, I love you and Jesus loves you. If I didn't say your language, know that God loves you. You're his masterpiece. He created you before the foundations of the earth. He loves you. Amen. All right, you guys, be a light. Spread the gospel. You're loved by King Jesus, highly favored. Good night. Bye-bye.